another tea talk and it's really hot. <laughs> So first of all, welcome back to my channel. I realize I haven't done my little intro spiel in a while, so as some of you might not actually even know who I am. I'm Genevieve Scholl, I've been self-published for over 10 years now, and I'm currently transitioning from romance genre, adult romance, into young adult, I I'm gonna just say young adult at the moment because even though what I'm working on is contemporary romance I may in the future do some fantasies and things so basically I'm just transitioning into from adult to young adult and I actually have a video on that when I made this decision I will link that up in the cards don't have a ton to talk about in today's tea talk but I do want to mention a couple of things first of all the day I'm recording this is Friday the 8th so you're seeing it on Tuesday the 12th which will be the day after my oral surgery so I'm kind of feeling, and you might see that I'm a little awkward in this video, and it's because I'm kind of really feeling stressed out. Really kind of just getting that feeling of I want to run away so I don't have to get it done. Um, for anybody who has not been here for previous videos, I have high anxiety as well as a phobia of anything medicine. Any kind of medical thing, doctors, dentists, any of that. And so the fact that I had to have her oral, oral surgery is not, I'm not handling it well. <laughs> um, but it's its a necessity because I have an impacted wisdom tooth that's way down at the bottom of my jaw hitting a nerve. So it has to happen. I know that it'll help. It's just the whole process of going through it is not fun. I did not get to recording everything I wanted to record this week or editing everything I wanted to edit video wise so the week that you're seeing this video this will be the only video for the week unfortunately but then we will get right back to the regular schedule of the videos next week i'm drinking some vanilla chamomile tea today and let me know what you guys are drinking in the comments mm, yummy it hasn't steeped enough yet though get a lot of steeps one of the things i did not get recorded was uh, editing Project JK because I have not edited Project JK yet. I did start uh, highlighting. I have a little small clip of me highlighting some things, but I only got through like two chapters. Everything kept piling on this week, so I didn't, I wasn't able to um, finish everything I wanted to finish. And then also, unfortunately, I did not record the study vlog, but that is the following week from this video. So I'm hoping I will be feeling good enough to record that. Um, it's also part of the whole pro editing project JK process. So I may merge those two together, especially since I had to return Save the Cat to the library because it's due back on Wednesday the 13th and there's no way I will be feeling up to going then or even using it in that time period. So I just returned it with my other books, which were due, are due Monday, which I, I brought it back yesterday. So they're all good to go. I looked through it real quickly before I returned it. And there are other things in there that I'm interested in, but not for my current projects. So later down the line, I'll probably buy myself a copy or request it from the library again, either one, to get the rest of that information. But I did get the information down that I need for right now. So I am going to still use those notes to do um, the prompts that I mentioned. I mentioned I was going to do, actually, I think I accidentally got cut out of the planning video for some reason, but I'm gonna do prompts, not in my current story, just prompts, you know, just random fly by the seat of my pants prompts from the notes that I got from Save the Cat to make sure that I'm actually understanding the information enough mostly the beats but i am going to kind of go in a little bit more in depth with the prompts to make sure it's i'm all understanding all of it so that was going to be an uh, you know a, a separate study vlog um but i think it's probably going to end up getting merged with editing project jk which is fine because there's going to be a couple of regular writing vlogs 
um, towards the end of the month because as you saw in last week's bonus video, actually technically it was this week for me, but last week for you, I am basically doing Camp Nano because I'm just kind of like fast drafting a book. Just, I'm not planning it out. I'm not, I don't even know what it's about. I'm just writing. Hopefully it'll all come together in the end, but, um, but there's going to be a vlog about that. And then there's going to be a, a vlog. I'm going to do a vlog, um, at the end of July about how Camp Nano went. In addition to my nerves about my surgery, my cat has not been feeling good, so there's that. <laughs> He's got some allergies flaring up and things. So that just adds to the anxiety, which I know that this is not a health channel or anything like that, but you know what? We're all human, and I feel like with YouTube and Instagram and all that, the human part of us kind of sometimes gets lost because we kind of edit it out thinking that we have to be perfect even though there's no such thing as perfect that word does not even exist in my opinion um so i feel like i i need to include this stuff you know i i want to show you guys how that you know writers are human and we all have our little idiosyncrasies it's okay to not be okay it's okay to have anxiety and phobias and depression and it's okay you know it's okay guys what is not okay is not getting help if you need help get help if you can't get help find somebody you can talk to that's been invaluable for me lately as i have two very 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 close people um outside of my immediate family that let me just talk when I need to talk. And, and if I need advice, they'll give me advice. And if they don't know what to say, they just let me work it out through text or Facebook message or sometimes even a phone call. I'm not sure what else I have to tell you guys. Not a lot has been going on this week. I had a couple people tell me that they actually enjoy these tea talks. So I want to I want to know what you guys think. Should we do these tea talks once a month, every two weeks, every quarter even? Let me know how often you think we should do a tea talk. Um, this one was two weeks after the last one, so that's kind of why I don't have much to talk about. So I'm thinking at the least it's going to be once a month. But let me guy, let me know if you guys think it should be once a quarter instead of once a month. Kind of doing maybe like a quarterly wrap up kind of deal in the tea talks, if that's something. Um, I also kind of want to, I know that primarily I talk about my writing but as you've probably noticed i've kind of branched out a little into other things to kind of vary the content on the channel which they say it is a killer for your channel but honestly what would you guys rather happen would you rather actually get videos or would you rather wait months on end for me to actually write something worth videotaping i would like to get into doing lives i just worry about the strength of my internet as you guys probably know from when this channel started um if you were here if you've been here a while it, doing lives proved difficult <laughs> for me um it really depends on how well my internet is working that day and it's always very unpredictable i kind of want to try doing it again though because i do enjoy talking to you guys in real time um, also, if you have an author tube channel and you're going to have a live and you need some guests, let me know that as well because though my internet is unpredictable, it works a lot easier if I'm just a guest in a live versus hosting a live because then I might just freeze whereas if I host it the whole entire live might break down. Even if it's just a writing sprint, I'd be happy to join in. I critiqued my first classic novel on the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it didn't have some of the aesthetics or any of that stuff that a lot of other reading vlogs have. It wasn't a very pretty video and I would apologize for that but the thing is is I don't have a very pretty apartment. I don't have a lot of space. I don't have a lot of pretty little accoutrements that I can put in the frame. I would love to love it if I did but I don't. So. I tried to just basically focus on the fact that I was reading the book and giving my opinion. 
case you couldn't hear that, I live near a highway. And that's one of the things about YouTube that I'm having trouble with as well, is my mental thought when I'm like, when I'm recording the videos, I don't feel this. But then when I go back and edit them, or when they're actually available for you guys to watch, I'm always, my mind always goes to, well, this could have been different, or this doesn't look the nicest, or this framing is not good. You know, I'm having a hard time getting past the fact that I'm not like other YouTubers. I'm not somebody who has a big bookshelf with books behind me. I'm not somebody with a lot of money that can, you know, stage their video. I am not somebody who travels a lot that can get a lot of great pictures. I am not somebody who you know, I just, I'm just not. And, and obviously you guys are okay with that because 64 of you are here watching my videos. Thank you very much. So I don't understand why my mind says I'm not good enough because obviously I'm good enough. Maybe I don't have 600, 6,000, a million subscribers. Maybe I don't have 30, 40, 70, 100 views per video. But you know what I do have? I have 64 of you watching me, watching my life, watching my writing, watching me go through all this stuff. 64 of you actually care enough to watch my videos. That's what I have. So on that note, thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up because that helps the algorithms, hey, I said it that time, of YouTube to help my videos be seen. And let me know in the comments what's going on with you guys. If you have any stressors coming up or if there's anything you need to vent about, please let me know that in the comments as well. This is a safe space. I would love to be able to help you through that. And also let me know how your Camp Nano is going. If you are participating and let me know how it's going. If you're not participating, just let me know how your writing is going. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'll talk to you soon and wish me luck on my surgery. Have a great week. Bye.